I've always really wanted to farm. Every day is different. It's not the same seat in a factory or same seat in a semi. It's, it's always a different seat, different, you know, shovel, different tool, different area. And, uh, you know, it could be one day you're dealing with grain markets, the next day you're, you know, welding on a PC equipment to purchase inputs the following day. So every day is different and every day is, you know, a different challenge. My dad was always busy with the construction side of things, and he found out I was a good little operator or whatever. And you know, by the seventh grade, I was already purchasing the seed corn for our operation. I've been doing that even before I even got out of junior high. I'm R.H. Hobby the Fourth here at Hobby Farms. We raise corn, soybeans, soft red winter wheat, and then uh, usually a crop of soybeans after the wheat, and occasionally we'll, we'll raise some grain sorghum. We're here south of Nashville, Illinois, so about 50 miles east of St. Louis. My great-grandpa worked the farm originally, which his dad came from Germany here, so that really makes me kind of the, the fifth generation. My immediate family was my wife, Sherry, and, and I have two kids, Riley Hannah and Douglas Ryan. Sherry grew up on a farm about 20 miles south of here, and she's a big help. She helps at harvest and some of the tillage work in the spring and harvest in the fall, be that extra combine operator. We're two hours away from the richest soil in the world, and we're two hours away from cotton country. So we're in this area here where we sow a lot of wheat because we can get that second crop of soybeans off after it and still have decent yields compared to just planting soybeans. And then you get two crops off the field. It's twice as much work. But then some of our land is kind of more erosion prone, and, and the weed helps with that. So if you rotate that wheat crop in there, keeps our soils tied down a little better and, and then helps with it farm income. If the land and soil is what makes my money, I'm not gonna abuse it or let it get away from me. So I wanna keep it on my fields, keep it where it is, and keep it there for years to come. One of our advantages to our location here in Southern Illinois is the fact that our basis levels are extremely high compared to other areas of the country that have to ship long distances. We're 50 miles from one of the best harbors on the Mississippi River, which is the St. Louis Market. So it usually means some of the strongest basis levels that you're gonna find anywhere in the Midwest. And that's a real advantage, I think, for, for our area. And having ADMs, having three facilities there in St. Louis that, that I haul through, so I think it helps out a bunch. Don works for ADM, but in a essence, he's, he's there to really help me do the best. So I trust him in regards to getting me the best price. Now, is he gonna always be right? Probably not. Am I always gonna be right on that? Probably not, but he's gonna give you the best information. I got a few people that work with me over at ADM and, and I can text them after hours and they'll come out to the farm and, and help me work through stuff. ADM has always been able to get me the fertilizer they stored there at their river terminals in St. Louis and uh, I've always been able to get it even when they said there was gonna be a shortage. They put in a blending facility right at the river terminal, so you can buy it in bulk, save it quite a bit on price, and bring it back, and then we uh, apply our own fertilizer and, and go that route just to try and cut costs as well. So as I'm thinking about the future, what I would want really have happen is my son and daughter to take the operation over and, and continue on trying to provide the, the cheap source of food that the world really needs and enjoy doing it. You know, a lot of people are like, I wouldn't work that hard. And I said, well, I haven't worked a day in my life yet, so I'm not too worried about it. And which is the truth, you know, to me, if you like what you do, it's not really work, is it? So that's where I come from. <laughs>